What's up, y'all? The Lakers are still adding to their coaching staff and signing players. And I'm going to tell you all about it. What's up, everybody? This is your boy AC, and welcome to another edition of LA Sports Live. The Lakers continue to bolster their coaching uh, staff and are still signing players. Uh, most recently, the, the Lakers, they signed assistant coach Quentin Ross, who formerly worked with uh, Frank Vogel down in Orlando. I don't know much about him, but I do believe he'll be the only coach on his staff that he's actually worked with before. You guys know uh, the Lakers, you know, when they decided to part ways with Luke Walton, they were kind of uh, had issues about his staff, the lack of experience of his staff, and the lack of, the lack of uh, good player player development during the time of uh, his tenure with the Lakers. So that's something they kind of want to take control of, and that's why they've been real hands on with the coaching staff and pretty much been hiring the staff for uh, Frank Vogel with the exception of uh, Coach Ross. Also, the Lakers have hired uh, uh, Coach Mike Pemberthy as their uh, shooting coach. If you guys don't remember, if you guys young buff, Pemberthy actually played with the Lakers back in the uh, early 2000s. And uh, I believe it was under the in the Kobe and Shaq era. I can't really remember myself. It's been a long time. But he did play for the Lakers for a short time. Uh, guard, a shooter. Uh, I think he had his career numbers uh, in the high 30s, almost 40% from three uh, from threes. Uh, actually, last year, Coach Pemberthy was actually the shooting coach with the New Orleans Pelicans. Maybe they hired him as a as a favor for Anthony Davis just to have somebody familiar, you know, with him on the bench. But but the, but the they also hired another coach, which I think is the most important uh, coach, uh, Phil Handy. Phil Coach Phil Handy actually worked for the Lakers back in the day under uh, Mike under Mike Brown. And if you guys remember, during that time, of course Kobe was still with the Lakers and Pau Gasol. But it was at that time where uh, Coach Phil Handy actually developed a real strong relationship with Kobe Bryant. He got Kobe Bryant's respect. And then, fast forward many years down the line, Coach Phil Handy has, be, has become really a well-respected coach in the league. And he's really liked amongst veteran players because he's known to, uh, you know, not to be intimidated by him and to openly challenge uh, star-type players. So he, he garners a lot of respect around the league. Now, an interesting note, after Phil Handy left the Lakers, when uh, Mike Brown was, you know, you know, you remember what happened, Mike Brown. But anyhow, he actually went back to Cleveland. When he went back to Cleveland, the Cavs had Kyrie Irving. So he became kind of a, you know, a mentor to Kyrie Irving. Of course, he was a uh, player development coach for the Cavaliers. But Coach Handy said he saw something special in Kyrie Irving. And actually, he was influential and bringing Kyrie Irving and Kobe Bryant together, even though Le- LeBron eventually went back to the to the Cavs, and you know they won a title, and you know you guys all know what happened. But you know uh, LeBron and Kobe are two different type of people. And actually, Coach, like I said, Coach Phil Handy brought uh, Kobe and Kyrie together because they, you know, they operate. They think more alike than, let's say, Kyrie versus LeBron. And of course, you guys know the history. Kyrie, Kyrie he, he ended up leaving uh, the Cavaliers anyway. So, anyhow, but my whole point is, Phil Handy is a real, really respected coach. He could have got a job on almost any coaching staff in the league. But, you know, we're happy to have him back with the Lakers. Now, the Lakers also signed uh, another player to... A two-way contract. And his name happens to be Costas. I ain't going to say the last name because I ain't going to butcher it. But you guys know who I'm talking about. He's the uh, younger brother of the reigning NBA uh, MVP, <clears throat> Giannis, from the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, everybody knows 
that Giannis is going to be a free agent in the year 2021. As a lot of people think that the reason why the Lakers signed him, first of all, the Lakers just didn't go out and sign him. He was put off, I believe, on waivers from Dallas, and they were awarded Giannis. I mean, awarded uh, Costas. So, the way I understand it, there were other teams that had a shot on him, but he ended up landing with the Lakers. So, okay, I guess maybe the Lakers got a little bit lucky. I don't know. Um, are they trying to sow the seeds for Giannis in 2021? Hey, why not? And I already told you guys in the previous video that in 2021, this is when LeBron, I believe he has an option for the next year, a player option if he wants to pick it up. But besides that, all these other contracts, with the exception of Anthony Davis, that the Lakers have on the books now, they will be off the books in 2021. And I told you before, they will have damn near 70 some million dollars out of the cap available. We'll see what LeBron does. But if LeBron decides to walk, retire, whatever, bam, the Lakers have about 70 plus million dollars. And Giannis, they're going to come knocking at your door. Uh, a lot of teams are going to be going at the Giannis. And uh, he's pretty much, you guys know, he's on record as saying, oh, I don't want to leave Milwaukee or whatever, whatever, whatever. But they keep losing and he doesn't get any closer to the championship. We'll see if he'll be singing that same song. But uh, anyhow, guys, uh, that was just want to give you a few quick updates. I'm headed to work as usual. Got to grab me some coffee. And um, I'll be back with you guys soon with another dope video. Later.